Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to do a wrap with me. So I'm gonna be wrapping a few gifts. I do have majority of all our gifts already wrapped, but I still do have quite a few items that I would like to wrap up. Majority of all this stuff is stocking stuffers. I like to wrap the kids stocking stuffers and then put it in their stocking. I usually never just throw it in their stocking. So I think honestly, majority of all this stuff is stocking stuffers, but I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit. I'm going to answer a few questions. So you guys voted on a laundry chat Q&A, but I wasn't able to get questions from you guys. I asked you guys multiple times to ask me questions so I can sit down and do that video. And I think I only got four questions. So I figured why not answer those four questions that I did receive from a few of you guys. And then for the rest of the video, I'll probably just chit chat with you guys for a little bit and then I'll probably speed up a lot of it as well. So I am going to pull up the questions that I was asked. Like I said, I think there was only three or four questions. I feel like it's so hard when you are a small YouTuber to do like Q and A's. I feel like we really don't get, um, questions so yeah i asked i think twice on my community tab for you guys to ask me questions but like i said i really didn't get any so i'm just going to answer the ones that i did get and then i will just chit chat with you guys for the rest of the time so let me pull it up i think i have some here all right i have some of the questions pulled up i'm going to get a few of the gifts ready and I am drinking some wine. It is five o'clock, around five o'clock. So I think it's time for me to have a drink. It's been a long day. I spent the entire time, oh, well, I spent the entire day cleaning this entire house. So I deserve some wine. All right, a lot of these gifts you guys already saw. I showed you guys um, in my previous video, I showed you guys a lot of the kids' gifts. So I'm not gonna sit here explaining everything that they received because like I said, I did already show you guys, I think this thing is the only thing you guys haven't seen. I'll show you guys, which is for Ryan. I just got in the mail today. My sister sent this as well. Ryan loves cars and trucks and also dinosaurs. So she got him this really cool set. It's dinosaur pullback cars. And that is how it looks. I'm not sure where she got it. I think she might've got it on Amazon. So if I find it, I will link it down below for you guys, just in case you guys have kids that love cars and dinosaurs. So I think it comes with, I don't know how many it comes with. It comes with quite a few, but I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna let him, six pack comes with six. So I need to wrap that, but let me just get all the gifts out and then I will start wrapping, answering questions and just chit chatting with you guys. I hope you guys don't mind a video like this. I usually don't do like sit down videos where I just chit chat with you guys, but for this vlogmas, I am going to do that because I don't have a video for um tomorrow i did vlog a little bit today but i don't have enough footage so first question that i am going to answer is from kim darby and her question is have you seen improvement with your daughter since she's received early intervention my grandson still is not speaking does your daughter talk so the answer to that is yes i have seen improvements with madison in her therapy she was diagnosed when she was two years old and as soon as she was diagnosed I got her into therapy and I have seen improvements um before she started therapy she was not very affectionate at all she never wanted to show any type of affection she also never made eye contact she never responded to her name so if you would call her name she would never acknowledge you um and then also she would never like try to communicate with you like telling you what she wanted and now she still is nonverbal. so the answer to the question where does she talk no she does not talk she still is nonverbal. every once in a while she will say mama but i feel like she only says that like when she's super upset but other than that she does not talk at all but she does try i feel like to communicate because she does like a lot of babbling and then sometimes if she wants something she will bring you to it like she'll pick your arm and like put it towards whatever she wants she also is learning a little bit of sign language so she knows how to ask for more so if i'm feeding her um and she wants more she will sign for more and then i know that she wants more and then she now makes eye contact she responds to her name, she smiles, and she's much more affectionate. So I would definitely say she has had a lot of improvements. So to Kim, just keep positive and just be patient. Um, 
I know a lot of autistic kids that end up being able to talk and communicate and I've seen nonverbal autistic kids where they were not speaking for a long time all the way up until like six or seven and then out of nowhere they just start talking so I just try to stay as positive as possible and hope that in the future Madison will start talking. All right, so the next question is from Autistic Daddy and her question is what is the most difficult thing about being a mom of a child with autism? I think the most difficult thing about um, being a mom to a child that's on the spectrum is all the stares. I do get a lot of stares sometimes when I'm out in public. Other people don't understand or don't really know that there's something wrong with my daughter or that she has a special need. So I think like all of the stares I get, um, sometimes if we are out in public and it's too loud and she gets overwhelmed, she will start crying. And I think a lot of people think that she's throwing a tantrum or that she's just a brat and they don't really understand that it's just a sensory overload that she is having. Um, so I think that um, people not understanding and then also obviously like the communication, since she is nonverbal, I don't really have communication with her. A lot of times I just have to play the guessing game. So if she's super upset um, I have to try to guess what is wrong with her and what's going to make her happy. So I would say communication and then also other people really not understanding what it is to have a child on the spectrum. So the third question is from Erica Raquel and the question is, what was the hardest thing to adjust to when you turned into a first time mom? I would definitely say that one of the hardest things was now realizing that I wasn't only responsible for myself, but I was now responsible for another human being, another life. Um, that was really hard because I was always paranoid that I was going to do something wrong where I was scared that in the middle of the night they were going to stop breathing and I would always check on them like a million times and I think I was just paranoid about not being a good mom um, so I don't know I just think adjusting to now being responsible for another life and um, wanting to do the best that you can do for your child and then also I'm gonna admit not being able to just like get up and go if I wanted to go run some errands or I wanted to go grab some lunch with some friends. I just wasn't able to do that as much as I would like to. I couldn't just get up whenever I wanted to because I have kids. So just adjusting to my new lifestyle with a kid, now having to think what is best for my kid, not only for myself was hard and then obviously I was paranoid about not being a good mom or not being good enough for my child. So so I would definitely say just being responsible for another life was very hard for me to adjust. So the next question is from Misty Morning and her question is what is your favorite thing about YouTube and what are your favorite videos to film? I would definitely say my favorite thing about YouTube is just a community. I have connected with so many fellow YouTube moms here on YouTube and I've built a relationship with them. There's a few girls I've actually even exchanged numbers with and we text back and forth. So I think just being able to connect with other moms that don't live here locally in Georgia that live across the state, I think that's so cool that you're able to connect um, with other moms. And then my favorite videos to film is probably between cleaning videos and hauls. Cleaning videos just because I feel like they're so motivating and I love to watch cleaning and organizing videos to get myself motivated. And then also hauls just because I love shopping. So, and I love to share with you guys things I purchased. So I would say cleaning videos and hauls. All right, so that is the last um, question that I was asked. So I guess I'll just chit chat for a, a little bit with you guys. And then I'll probably fast forward the rest. And I literally have only wrapped one present through this because I cannot focus rapping and talking at the same time. You guys, um, leave in the comments down below what kind of videos you guys would like to start seeing more often. I'm going to try my very best to be better with a schedule. I suck with scheduling like my videos. I usually just film whatever I want to film and then upload it at random times. So I did ask you guys um, what time you guys like me to film and the vote was for 9 a.m. So after Vlogmas is over, I'm going to try to get on the schedule. I am going to try to upload at least three times a week. So I'm looking to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then on those days, I will try my best to get those videos up by 9 a.m. So just leave a comment down below um, 
video ideas that you guys would like to see because I'm also going to try to pre-record a lot so I can make sure I could get those videos up on time because like I said I am going to try to get those videos up at 9 a.m every day so just let me know down below some video suggestions that you guys would like to see next I will probably have holiday videos all the way up until probably New Year's and then after New Year's I will start rolling out just like random other videos just let me know what you guys enjoy seeing the most here on my channel so i can start filming those for you guys, right, guys i'm gonna get really real with you guys really fast um i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys sometimes i can be very discouraged here on youtube i think it's been almost two years that i've been doing youtube or have been like uploading on youtube i would say maybe a week before mother's day that will make two years because I, I think i uploaded my first ever video um like a week before Mother's Day. So a week before Mother's Day will make um, two years that I've been here on YouTube. And I just feel like my channel isn't growing as fast as I would like it to be. And I know my video quality isn't the best. I film and edit and upload everything from my phone. And I don't want to make that as an excuse because I know a lot of other YouTubers that do everything from their phone. I feel like their video quality is so much better. I'm not sure how they do it, but yeah, I don't want to use that as an excuse, but sometimes I can just be discouraged. Like if I lose subscribers or I'm not growing as fast enough and anytime that happens, I always take myself back and I won't upload for a few days just so I won't get sucked into it. Cause I feel like once you get sucked in it to comparing yourself to other YouTubers, you just get into this like a really dark black hole that I don't want to be in. So I usually will take myself back and take a break for a few days when that happens. But let me know if that happens to any of you guys. If you guys are a YouTuber, do you guys feel discouraged at sometimes? Because I really hope I'm not the only one who feels that way sometimes because I don't want to be ungrateful because I'm super grateful for the subscribers that I do have. And I'm grateful that I'm even able to share my life with you guys. But like I said, it is a lot of hard work and a lot of um, time put into these videos. And when you're not seeing the results that you would like and you're a perfectionist, it can be discouraging. All right, I think for the rest of the video, I'm just going to fast forward it because at this rate, I'm never gonna get anything wrapped. I have literally three things wrapped. So for the rest of the video, I think I will just fast forward it.
so these are all the gifts that I was able to wrap. There's a ton underneath that you can't see, but that's everything I wrapped. And then there's a few other things over here that I wasn't able to wrap. Like a few of these Beanie Babies. And then I have a coloring book and a little canvas. I think I have two canvases. Yeah, I have two canvases, one for Ryan, one for Madison. And then a coloring book and then Madison's um, therapy toys and these things. So I'll probably go out tomorrow to get some more wrapping paper to finish wrapping all of that up but i was able to successfully wrap this entire pile all right guys so that is going to end my wrap with me i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me while i wrap i am not a good wrapper at all i usually with the kids wrapping i don't do a perfect job i am pretty sloppy when it comes to wrapping the kids presents just because it's just for the kids and they are going to tear it apart in two seconds anyways i usually take my time and do it much more nicer when i am doing it for adults so maybe i will film a video when i wrap the gifts for like my family i haven't wrapped any other gifts yet just because we're not going home yet but maybe i will film that i'm not too sure but hopefully you guys are enjoying my vlogmas so far we only have a few days left worth of vlogmas videos and i promise i will try my very best to get a video up all the way until Christmas. No promises because right now I'm struggling to get videos up. I did vlog a little bit today, but I think I only got like three or four minutes worth of vlog time. So maybe I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow so then I can combine it and that'll be another Vlogmas video. Regardless, I really hope you guys are enjoying my Vlogmas this year. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload a new video, you'll be notified that I have uploaded. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time.